All right, good evening, everybody. My name is Aaron Bizet. Uh, thank you so much for everybody. I know there's folks still at the bar, but I want to get going, uh, as I know a lot of folks have some committee reunions, uh, class reunions, and that I think everyone's prepared to go downtown Bristol tonight. Uh, so I want to go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for, first of all, everyone for attending the alumni reunion. Uh, fantastic showing. I, I hope everyone has enjoyed the program so far. This year, we've decided to do something a little bit different, and that is have uh, our award nominees during this dinner for a couple of different reasons. Number one, uh, as we eat together and drink together, we have an opportunity to hear from our fellow alumni that have been honored with our alumni awards. There is a lot of that I can talk to you about on where alumni is going. Uh, we have an exciting agenda for next year. We're launching subcommittees in each of our cities. We're getting engaged with our under, uh, undergrad uh, class officers. Uh, we're combining law alumni, undergrad, uh, undergrad alumni, and a strategic plan. All of that is gonna be coming forward. I don't wanna waste our time to talk about that, ex except expect from your inboxes and your mailboxes uh, good programming announcements and, uh, and information on where we're going as an alumni association. But further ado, I would like to introduce our alumni board president, uh, Nibal Awad, to kick us off in our alumni awards. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Hi, everyone. First of all, I just want to say I'm so excited I get to celebrate with all of you. It's been a great 10th, so thanks for being here. A warm welcome to our reunion alumni celebrating this weekend, RW faculty, staff, friends, and to our esteemed alumni award recipients. I feel so fortunate to be here with you all today in celebration of this wonderful university and the connections and relationships we have all formed through Roger Williams. I feel especially honored to introduce this year's Alumni Award recipients. One thing that was always instilled in me as a student at Roger Williams is that I would never be without community. Our vast network of alumni across the country and beyond are all individuals I know I could reach out to at any time for conversation, support, and friendship. We are a family bound by the pride and fondness we all share for Roger Williams University. And we are steadfast in the core beliefs that we were taught at Roger Williams, to lead by example and to showcase your true passion in everything you do. This year's Alumni Award recipients are the perfect embodiment of what it means to be a hawk. Through their careers, personal endeavors, and investments in their respective communities, our award recipients have established themselves as role models and leaders in the RWU alumni community. Alumni are the common denominator that defines the institution in all that we do. I'm gonna say that line one more time because I think it's so important. Alumni are the common denominator that defines the institution in all that we do. And it is a privilege to recognize our awardees this evening and to honor the work they have done in contributing to the RWU legacy. Our first award to be presented is the RWU Alumni Spirit Award. This award is given to alumni who have exhibited passionate and spirited engagement with the university long after graduation. Spirit Award recipients recipients are leaders in the RWU alumni community, often leading alumni activities and encouraging fellow RWU graduates to remain engaged with the university. Recipients of this award work hard to foster friendship within the RWU alumni and always demonstrate their hawk pride wherever they go. It is my honor to introduce this year's RWU Alumni Spirit Award to Meg Dumain. And she's going to stand here while I embarrass her a little more. So Meg was nominated by an employee here at Roger Williams who had the following to say regarding Megan's RWU spirit. 
I cannot think of anyone more who represents a more positive and spirited relation to the university. Meg graduated in May of 2009, was a good assistant working in the ILA program for a year, became a core in housing for four years, finished her master's in the leadership program in 2014, and has since been working as a successful project manager at Wally Computer Associates. At least once a year, Meg makes the long trek from Eastern Mass to visit in the several offices that she worked in during her time here. I also would like to share that when I was a freshman, Meg was our student advocate. Oh, yeah. We all know. And, you know, freshman year, we all know how that goes. And Meg was always there to listen. She always had, you know, one of those welcoming faces. She was always so patient with us. And I think I speak to, for all the students that she's impacted during her whole time here at Roger Williams that um, for a lot of us, it was people like you that helped us get through our four years. So thank you so much, Meg, and we're honored to celebrate you tonight. So congratulations. Thank you so much, Nibal. It's an honor to be here today. And to now know it's a 10-year reunion of all the Phi Stoppers is honestly mind-boggling. I don't know how it's been 10 years. I feel like you all just walked into Stonewall 1. And that was just reminiscing with Darwin. <laughs> Some of the different activities we did, it's, it's quite amusing. But for me, the moment I stepped onto the RWU campus, it was a place that I felt at home. It's a place I found myself, as cl cliche as that sounds. I'm a 2009 and 2014 graduate, um, and I was lucky enough to work in many different roles here on campus. As much as I appreciate the academic knowledge I gained here, for me it was all about the people. The people transformed and allowed me to grow into the person I am today, and I'm incredibly grateful because I've never been able to put into words what that's meant to me. So I'm going to try to, in the next couple of minutes, explain how I came into this campus and how it's impacted my life since. So just bear with me. So move-in weekend 2009, I was excited and terrified to be here. What I hadn't expected was a challenging experience that would, uh, basically I moved in on Saturday and moved out on Sunday because of this lovely experience. But it was thanks to the kindness of the Student Advocacy Office, the care from the athletic director, and a little bit of Tony magic that allowed me to come back just two days later. And I never left for nine years after that. Roger Williams just became this place for me. I didn't know the following year, Amory Serta would start an advocacy with me, and she would become my RW mom, my confidant, and to this day, one of my tr most treasured relationships. My political science professors, Dave, June, Roberts, and Swaski, would encourage discourse that I would seek out nearly 15 years later through Zoom meetings and political debate on topics, both election and current events. I never expected to go through my first, first death year, but sadly, my sophomore year, my closest friend passed while seeking her dream to just be a college student. The news was delivered by two people I trusted most on this campus. Staff members organized and accompanied us to the services. I was two hours from home, but I was surrounded by love nonetheless. Six months later, as a part of the summer conference staff, I was caught off guard with just an unexpected wave of grief. And Carol Slichetti dropped everything for a golf cart ride and comforting words that just, to this day, means the world to me. And quite frankly, we just talked about about an hour ago. <laughs> Chris O'Brien of the Student Advocacy Office gave me two pieces, of advice, two pieces of advice when I graduated my undergrad. The first was a challenge to not be just the student, but become the staff member. I spent five years trying to improve the student experience the way others had for me. In my time as a core, it was the relationships with students that meant the world from an honest to God fort, fort <laughs> night building uh, from two North boys. Essentially one night I came home to two North and you know, it's a hall of all boys, let's be honest. On a Friday night, they're causing trouble, which good for them. As long as nobody's hurt, I'm good. And they kept looking at me. Meg, it's okay, just let us be. And I'm like, guys, you knew the rules, come on, what's going on? 
I go to the common room and they had dragged out all of their mattresses to literally build a fort in the common room. And if that's the worst they were gonna do on a Friday night, they had my wholehearted support. But then it was seeing my Phi Stop freshmen take over campus through CEN, IC, RA, OA, and there were even a couple advocates in there, which really meant the world. It's hard to articulate the impact others can have on you. For me, this is the best I know how. Chris O'Brien's second piece of advice to me was the idea of a board of mentors. Who did I look up to? What characteristics did I want to strive for? And who did I trust to ch guide me but challenge me? I left RWU in 2015, but to this day, those I look to most seek out guidance for and confide in. Nearly every single person on that board of mentors besides family comes from my RWU family. And for that, I'm forever grateful. I'm grateful for every staff, every student, and every professor who challenged and supported me, and I hope to have paid it forward to even just one student. So thank you for your time. Hello, everyone. So thank you so much, Megan, and congratulations. Uh, we're so grateful that you're all here with us this evening and for all that you do every single day to showcase your Hawk pride. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Lauren Swenson. I'm class of 2013 and 2019. Um, I work at the university as the director of annual giving. I uh, had the pleasure of working with class of 2012 on their fifth reunion. Uh, maybe I'll get back to working with reunions someday soon because uh, the, that definitely was one of the best things to be able to do here. Um, so I'm truly honored to be here, um, and I'm glad to see you all coming back for your 10th as well. Uh, our next award this evening is the RWU Young Alumni Achievement Award. This award recognizes a recent RWU graduate for significant short-term accomplishments who, in their first 10 years since graduation, has made outstanding contributions to their chosen profession and has rendered distinguished service to the public welfare. This awardee, through his remarkable career and professional experience, has brought tremendous honor upon Roger Williams University and the RWU Alumni Association, and we are thrilled to recognize his accomplishments this evening. Please join me in congratulating the 2022 Young Alumni Achievement Award recipient, Brian Knowles. I'll make you stand up here too, it's only, only fair to Meg. So Mr. Knowles is wing historian, 434th Air Refuel Wing, Grissom Air Reserve Base, Indiana. As wing historian, he is directly responsible for the management of the wing historian office and is the point of contact for historical inquiries. His duties include creation, collection, and preservation of wing unit history reports, archival records, reference library, oral history, interview collection, and photograph collections. He records the activities and significant events of airmen and civilians of the 434th ARW and Grisham ARB. Additionally, he conducts outreach activities with local communities. Mr. Knowles graduated from Roger Williams University, Bristol, Rhode Island in 2015 with a Master's of Science in Historic Preservation. He also studied at Ball State University, Muncie, Indiana, 2008 to 2010 for a Master of Arts in History. He earned both a Bachelor of Science in Historic Preservation and a Bachelor of Arts in History at South, Southeast Missouri State University in 2008. He enlisted into the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve in August 2001. He has continued to serve in the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve since then, with deployments on active duty in 2004 and 2009 through 10 in Iraq for Operation Iraqi Freedom. His staff non-commissioned officer billets include serving as an archivist and historian for the U.S. Marine Corps History Division, historian and public affairs operations, chief for Marine Forces Reserve Headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps Reserve Centennial Program 2015 to 17, historian and broadcast journalist for U.S. Africa Command, and communications strategy and operations chief, communications strategy office, Marine Forces Reserve Headquarters. Mr. Knowles' civilian employment includes 2008 through 9 archivist at Ball State University in Indiana, 2010 and 11 archivist fellowship, U.S. Marine Corps Archive, Marine Corps Base, Quantico, Virginia, 2011 through 14 archives technician, U.S. National Archives, Washington, D.C., 2018 through 19 archivist, U.S. Africa Command in Germany, and 2019 through present, wing historian, 434th Air Refueling Wing, Grissom Air Base, Indiana. Without further ado, I will let Mr. Knowles say a few words.
Thank you. <clears throat> I've been busy. <laughs> uh, good evening. Uh, thank you, Kelly, for the introduction. Uh, my gratitude goes out to the alumni board and all of you here tonight. I must say that you are all very brave to let a historian have a microphone and a captive audience. Uh, many thanks to my professors in the Historic Preservation Program. Uh, I recalled being welcomed right away. Uh, they never hesitated to help me on any assignments or any projects. Uh, as a returning non-traditional student, uh, there was a bit of relearning the academic process and they were there to help me uh, along the way. Uh, although not in attendance this evening, I must say a special thanks to Professor Philip Marshall. Uh, his guidance and inspiration still influence my, influences my work every day. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, the Young Alumni Achievement Award. <clears throat> I suppose we're using the word young in a relative term. Uh, I retire from the Marine Corps Reserve next year with 21 years of service. Uh, it feels a little strange to... Uh, it feels a little strange to be called young, but I'll, I'll take that compliment. Uh, I guess I'm about that age and experience uh, as a veteran where my mind thinks I'm 28, my humor suggests I'm 12, but my body isn't sure if I'm dead yet. <laughs> so carrying lessons from uh, <clears throat> learned at Roger Williams, I apply them to my work as a historian for the Department of Defense, the Air Force, and the Marine Corps uh, practically every day. Uh, being a hawk, it, it helped me to innovate better, uh, to think more creatively, and to get out there more often and uh, reach out to the community. Uh, advancing the common good, inspiring others, facing challenges, uh, it's not exactly what I had in mind when I started out in the world. Uh, but yet, Roger Williams has helped me, enabled me, and encouraged me to get out there and do just that. So I am very honored in many ways to be selected for this award. To be recognized and celebrated for my efforts is such a privilege. Uh, congratulations to my fellow uh, uh, alumni recipients, alumni award recipients. Uh, thank you for your efforts and achievements. Uh, I'm in awe on both of you for what you've done and I, I spent such little time here uh, at Roger Williams just, just coming from my masters. Uh, I, I admire both of you for all the work that you've done at the university and ever since then. Uh, I want to, uh, I just hope that I can continue to make Roger Williams proud. Uh, I want to conclude with a few words of wisdom. Uh, always be yourself, unless you can be a Marine, and then always be a Marine. Although if you can't be a Marine, then go be an airman. So <laughs> thank you for your time, enjoy your evening. Congrats again, Brian. Our final award this evening is the RWU Distinguished Alum Award. This award recognizes a graduate with more than 10 years of experience for significant long-term success in personal and professional achievements. Similar to the Young Alumni Achievement Award, recipients have made outstanding contributions to their profession and have rendered distinguished service to the public welfare. This year's recipient has a demonstrated history of professional leadership and personal accomplishments, and we are honored to recognize his success. Please join me in congratulating the 2022 Distinguished Alum recipient, Vernon Stafford, Jr. I should have had you sit because this is a very accomplished, <laughs> not kidding, it won't be too long, but it is impressive, okay. Vernon is a C-level senior executive vice president and chief audit executive at First Horizon Corporation, where he is responsible for corporate internal audit and credit risk assurance. First Horizon is a Memphis, Tennessee-based regional bank holding company for First Horizon Bank, FHN Financial, and First Horizon Advisors. Prior to joining First Horizon in June of 2013, 
Vernon served a distinguished 33-year career as a commissioned National Bank Examiner for the Office of the Comp Comptroller of the Currency, OCC, from July 2011 through May 2013. Vernon served as Assistant Deputy Comp Comptroller in OCC's Midsize Bank Supervision Department. As ADC, Vernon supervised a staff of mid-sized bank examiners and a portfolio of mid-sized banking companies ranging in assets of 13 billion to 100 billion. Vernon received a bachelor's degree in accounting from Roger Williams College, now university. I don't know that we really have to point that out. <laughs> um, in 1980. After functioning in various positions as field examiner and bank analyst, Vernon served from 1997 to 2001 as director of OCC's core policy development division in the OCC's Washington, D.C. headquarters office. From 2011 through 2006, Vernon served as director for large bank supervision, a division responsible for the supervision of the largest banking companies in the national banking system. From 2006 to 2011, he served as examiner in charge of supervision for First Tennessee Bank in Memphis, Tennessee, where he was responsible for the day-to-day -day supervision and regulatory activities of a 30 billion banking company. You're good with money, huh? <laughs> Vernon believes in service to community, as he has served in governance and voluntary roles at non-for-profit and for-profit organizations. Today, he serves on the board of directors of Leadership Memphis and the Hattie Lou Theater, as well as the board of the trustees of the Dixon Gallery and Gardens in Memphis. In 2017, Vernon was appointed jointly by Lieutenant Governor McNally and Speaker Harwell to the Tennessee Higher Education Commission, where he continues to serve. He has been recognized as distinguished speaker by the Neal Corporate Governance Center of the University of Tennessee. In 2020, Savoy Magazine recognized Vernon as the most influential black executive in corporate America. It's my pleasure to honor Vernon Stafford with the Distinguished Alumnus Award for 2022. Well, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to see you this evening. Um, <clears throat> earlier today, I was walking around the campus with my family and just marveling at how much of this campus has been developed since I've been here. So let me first acknowledge God and my family uh, who have provided me with great strength, love, and tremendous inspiration the past several decades. My family includes my beautiful wife, Barbara, our three talented children, Christina, Vernon III, and Danielle, and our wonderful son-in-law, Cody. This year marks 42 years since I graduated from this college. 42, yes. Um, when I think about that, that that was so long ago that this was still called a college, as Nebel said. But in addition to that, personal computers were not yet a thing. In fact, my computer class required a deck of cards for processing. There were only two dormitories on campus then. So as overflow freshmen, we were housed off campus at a hotel across the bridge in Portsmouth. So why did I come to Roger Williams College? Well, largely because of the accounting program, which then was even well known at that point and highly regarded. But honestly, who could reject the picturesque campus? As I reflect on my past 42 years of my career, I thought about what has brought me to this point tonight and what I would share with you this evening. And I promise to make it brief. 
One of my favorite professional development books is True North by Bill George. And in his book, George shares the concept of hinge moments. In short, hinge moments are opportunities to open or close doors to various pathways in our lives. As you might imagine, in my 42 year career and my 60 plus years of life, I've experienced many hinge moments that have opened and closed many doors to my life's pathways. During my four years at Roger Williams, I experienced many hinge moments that were essential to my career development. There were also several people who stood with me at those hinge moments and, and helped me in my decision making. People such as Fran Katzenack, who was the director of the Career Placement Office, and then late Hector Massa, who was a longtime athletic director for RDU. Both Fran and Hector saw something in this then young black kid from New York City that was worth their investment of time to help me succeed. In all likelihood, the past, in, I'm sorry, in all likelihood, the year 2020 has presented one and maybe many hinge moments for all of us. We faced a pandemic, career and life disruption, and the ills of social injustice. As I have experienced in various hinge moments in life, there are several attributes that have been key to any success that I have achieved in life. And I'd like to briefly share them with you to encourage you. First, respect and compassion. I encourage you to treat others with respect and compassion, don't think of yourself as superior to another person. Recognize that everyone we encounter is a human being worthy of basic respect and compassion. Next, attitude. There's a quote, this, qu this quote by author and pastor Chuck Swindoll that says, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Rather than sulk when circumstances are bad, focus your mind and position on positive aspects that can help you improve the situation. Next, integrity. As we go through life, there is likely that we would encounter serious challenge to the authenticity of our character. In those situations, the strength of your integrity will determine, or at least influence, the outcome. Make every effort to establish and maintain unquestionable integrity. Character is what defines you, and your integrity is essential to the character that others see in you. Perseverance. The past two years have surely demonstrated that challenging days come to all of us in life. There will likely be seasons when it seems life is overwhelming, and maybe even times you might want to give up. I say don't give up, rather persevere. You must have strong personal resolve to navigate through the storms of life and stand firm until resolution comes about. And finally, discipline. Personal discipline is tremendously important. I am a man of faith, so let me share a Bible passage with you. Hebrews 12, 11 says, for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness for those who have been trained by it. As I journey further beyond middle age, I can see how my discipline has yielded fruit in my life. In summary, going through this journey called life is exciting. And, and yes, sometimes challenging. But approaching it with the right attributes will help you thrive and excel during the journey. Roger Williams is the place where I first learned these attributes and it has been the foundation of my academic and professional life. 
I challenge you to reflect on the hinge moments of your life and what attributes are meaningful to you and how, you, how they can positively impact your lives. Again, congratulations to Brian, to Megan. Thank you for all of you for being here this evening. Appreciate it. Thank you, Vernon. Uh, thank you to all of the uh, award recipients. There's one last piece that I would like to do tonight, and that is in front of her peers, I would like to honor Nibal Awad. Nibal. <laughs> For those of you that might not know, this is uh, Nibal's concluding term as our alumni board lead. I am personally incredibly saddened, uh, but I will always know that Nibal will be nearby. Uh, she has in her power has completely transformed our alumni board. Uh, through her passion for Roger Williams, through her graciousness and leading with strength and courage, as well as firmness and challenging administration and the university to serve alumni better, through her work with the class, with the class to show up here at alumni weekend, uh, and just her passion for Roger Williams, um, I just wanna honor her as part of this award recipients uh, and making sure that she gets the graciousness applause from this group during her tenure at Roger Williams. this with all of you later yeah um, thank you Aaron I appreciate it and thank you to the alumni team and the advancement team for all their um, help putting this weekend on we really appreciate it um, I I'm gonna let you go because I know we're gonna party in a bit um, but I also would like um, Alex Palios and Kayla Morenci to stand Woo! These two wouldn't let me finish my question before they both said yes to chairing our class of 2012 committee. And um, I consider both of them really dear friends and I just really appreciate all the work you did um, this whole year, gathering the committee, leading the committee and getting our class here. I think I speak, to ev speak for everyone that we're having a blast and we really do appreciate all the leadership. So thank you so much. It's been wonderful getting to um, hear from you and your fellow award recipients on what Roger Williams means to each of you and how much pride you embody being an RWU alumnus. Please give a round of applause one more time for our 2022 Alumni Award recipients. I hope this evening has served as a reminder to you that we truly are a community each and every one of us in this room have our own unique experiences and shared appreciation for RWU, either as alums, faculty, staff members, or friends. The university is made up of brick and mortar, but the true university is all of you. Spread out in the world, our alumni are out there being change agents in their communities and beyond, demonstrating RWU spirit in everyday lives. To our alumni with us this evening, we encourage you to stay involved, stay connected, and remember that RWU, our Center for Career and Professional Development, and the Alumni Board is here to listen and to serve you. Thank you for a wonderful evening together, and enjoy, an alum enjoy Alumni and Reunion Weekend. Thanks again. And as special guests of the 2012 class, all of our award recipients and their families are more than welcome to join us at our reception in the Sailing Center right after this for a drink or two if you'd like to join. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs>